Hey there, welcome back to Dude World TV and today we're unboxing a 92cc Chinese chainsaw. So this is the box, this is the model of it. It's a Bauma 92cc Pro Grade Chainsaw. Cost me about $300 Australian to the door. Righto, so let's crack out the Bowie knife and get into it. And here's the bar with, if you can see that, a roller tip. Hey, awesome stuff. Righto. And we've got some destructions. And we'll throw that down there with the other stuff. What else have we got in here? A little bag of tools. Ah. Got a genuine Oregon chain. Hey, you only the good stuff here on your Chinese cheap chainsaws. That's pretty cool. Get rid of that. Oh, and there she is. Look in there. Look at that. What a beauty. Right, uh, I'll unbox some of this stuff. Okay, so this is what we got in the box. We got a dodgy looking pair of gloves. <laughs> yeah. A pair of safety goggles, which I'll never use because I wear sunnies. Some earmuffs, which I'll never use because I use plugs and they're way better. And check out this bad boy. Hey, 92cc is a sheer grunt. Triple exhaust port. She's got the goods. Okay, so let's have a look at the other side. Here we go. Looks pretty decent. Okay, so you also get this uh, epoxy little, looks to be about a one litre fuel can with uh, an oil, oil can on the back there. Yeah, I'll probably never use that either, but hey, you never know. So this is the instruction manual, <laughs> it's one piece of paper and it pretty much tells you just to go online and download the manual. That's going to save them some money, which is probably why the saw is so cheap. Anyway, lucky for me I've already done that, so let's put this sucker together. Okay, so this is what was in the tool kit. Up the top there, we've got the log grabbers for the chainsaw. Couple set screws, screwdriver, allen key, spark plug spanner, another allen key, and a bit of thread bar with a handle on the end, which I'm not quite sure what does. That. Okay, so this is where the uh, log spikes all tip in, right about there. So let me have a look at that. There we go. I'll bolt them up and we'll see how we go. Okay, so there we go, I've got the log spikes fitted. Just give you a look at that. Yeah, that'll do the job. Right, our next job is we're gonna rip these couple of bolts off here and take this cover off so we can fit the bar and the chain. Right, so I'll go ahead and do that and we're gonna need this tool here to do that job. Fits right on there like that. Right, uh, so I've removed those bolts. This cover I should just pull off like that. Okay, and there we have the clutch. And these couple of studs here is where the bar goes on. Now you have a look at this as a pro model and the clutch is actually enclosed. In the cheaper ones and um, also in some of the stills and huskies, the clutch sits out here like this with the drum brake plates on it. And it's exposed to a lot of sawdust and gunk and oil and crap. And the clutches start to play up in them and that's why. But this one's all enclosed, so yeah, we should get a good run out of this. Okay, so the trick to getting the bar on is you need to fit the chain to the bar first. If you have a look, I started up this end where the roller tip is, fitted the chain, stood the bar upright, 
and then lock the chain into the slide grooves and then we've got that spare bit hanging out the end there and then I'll make it a whole bunch easier to fit onto the saw itself okay so I've got the bar fitted now there she is and I've just got these finger tight I've adjusted this so I'll get some chain tension about where you want it it's probably a little bit loose right now but that's okay and now I'll show you is a little tip how to get your chain tension perfect and it won't move on you when you start cutting right okay so I've got these two nuts here finger tight and it allows the bar to move up and down in this direction and what you want to do is you want to push that bar up all the way towards the top of the saw so you want to push it that way as far as it goes and then when you lock it down it's not going to the chain's not going to come loose on you when you're cutting okay so i've got the bar located all the way up the top the next thing i'm going to do is tension the chain while it's like that i've just tightened these down a smidge so that they'll hold the bar in place while i set the chain tension all right and how we do that We've got this tool, we'll sit it in there on the adjusting screw, and we'll screw it. If you have a little bit of chain there, you can see it locking in home. And here we test it, if we grab hold of it halfway along, we pull it out a little bit. And that's probably a, still a little bit too loose, so I'll just tighten her up again. Now we'll have another look. Yeah, that's about right. Here we go. As a small business owner, you can see that. Here we go. Right, oh, now I'll lock down these two screws. And we'll be in business. Okay, so there we have it. I've just put together the 92cc Bauma Monster. It's the biggest, baddest bugger they make. And uh, tomorrow we'll spark it up and I'll make a new vid. And you can have a look at it going. They recommend uh, using 20 to 1 oil fuel ratio for breaking, probably about two or three tanks of that stuff, and then to 25 to 1 for your normal running mix. All right, so uh, see you later for now and tune in for the next vid. See you.